Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericanMuscle.com and this is my review of the T-Rex Upper Class Series 3 Window Polished Mesh Grill for the 2015 and up Mustang. This Upper Class Series 3 Window Mesh Grill is going to be for the S550 owner who would like to upgrade the front grill and really change the looks of the front end but would like to hang on to that 3 window look that the factory grills offer. This grill works great for creating more of an aftermarket aggressive look as opposed to that stock look and the mesh is also perfect if you're not really into the horizontal bar grills that are out there. Now guys, this is a polished front mesh grill and it's not going to be for everyone since this is so different. However, it does achieve the look that T-Rex was after and if this isn't for you, we definitely have some other options that'll suit you better. This mesh grill does keep that stock three window design like I just mentioned and it's one of the only aftermarket grills out there at this time that does that. What makes this grill different, however, is that it gets rid of that honeycomb and obviously the running pony. It has fine woven wire mesh and both upper and lower pieces are also stainless steel with a 12 gauge frame, which will be nice for those cars that see all different types of road conditions. This one here is obviously a bright polished design that's really going to stand out in the front end, but if you like this design but not the finish, it's also available in a powder coated black finish as well. Just from looking at this grill here on the table with me, this isn't like the normal aftermarket grill that I normally see that's made out of ABS plastic. This is a full 304 stainless steel construction and it also has some weight to it. This is a heavy duty grill if I ever saw one and it's very sturdy. There isn't any flex with the grill and it's a solid piece. But the weaving on the mesh is nicely done and very even. Even if you don't like the finish of this grill, you can see that the woven formed wire mesh is cleanly done. Now it's worth mentioning here that like the other T-Rex grills that are available for the S550 Mustang, the upper grill is a complete replacement of the factory grill, but the bottom grill is simply an overlay, not a complete replacement. So you won't be eliminating that lower factory grill, but just going over top of it. Both the black and the polished T-Rex grills can be picked up as a combo of both the upper and the lower grill, or you can buy the upper and lower separate if you don't want to spring for the combo. There is going to be a cost difference between the finishes. The polished version is going to cost a little bit more, but either way, you're looking at close to $750 for the polished combo setup. If you're interested in just the polished upper grill, it's going to cost a little over $450 by itself, or just under $300 for the lower overlay. Now remember that the black version of this grill is going to cost less than this polished version, and this is not your typical aftermarket grill. It's full stainless steel, so it's not going to crack or break or fade over time, and it's going to hold up against road debris. Install for these grills is easy, a one out of three wrenches on the scale. But the time for install is obviously going to change, depending on if you're installing both upper and lower, or just one or the other. I'd say about an hour to complete both, since the upper grill is a complete replacement and the lower is just an overlay. And they both come with all of the needed hardware. You won't need anything special to complete the install. You're looking at some basic tools like a Phillips head and a flat head screwdriver, a 7mm wrench, and a few smaller size sockets, and a ratchet. You do need to remove the factory bumper, so you can start by popping out the eight plastic clips that are holding in the black plastic cover shroud. And as a side note, you can use some painter's tape at any time to give you a little bit of protection around the work area so you don't scratch paint or mark up the shroud. On each side of the bumper, you'll need to back out the screws that are holding the bumper into place, as well as the plastic clips that are on each side of the front tires. After that, there are about 12 screws holding the bottom front of the bumper overlap in that need to be backed out. Then you can pop the fascia off by pulling the sides near the front corner lap right underneath the headlight. Getting the top factory grill out isn't as hard as you might think it is. There's a soft gasket that comes out with a screwdriver and then you can remove the plastic clips that are along the edge of the factory grill. The new grill installs with the supplied fasteners that go around the factory clips and then the center bumper soft gasket goes right back in after the new grill. The lower grill is going to go over top of the factory grill here and you're going to need these brackets for the install. The machine screws go through the bracket and the two wing nuts are then threaded on. The brackets are then fixed to the inside of the bottom bumper mesh and the lock nuts are tightened down to the mesh frame. Then it's ready to be fixed to the factory grill by tightening down the mesh from the front. Just as a little tip, you can use a long flat head screwdriver to hold the toggle wings while you're tightening down the screws to help out with this. After that, it's just a matter of getting the front bumper back onto the car the same way you took it off. Wrapping things up here, the T-Rex Upper Class Series 3 Window Polished Mesh Grill is going to keep that factory 3 window design for those of you that like that feature, but it's going to ditch the pony and the honeycomb and go with a very bold polished grill instead. Both the upper and lower grills are stainless steel and come in either polished or powder coated black and they're easy to install. You can check these grills out more online for yourself and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.